three reasons why you should settle. Now, before you cancel me, I know that you're thinking this guy's crazy because I don't settle. I've been raised to never settle. I, I get it. We, we all been like raised like that. Never settle for less. Always go for your best. I get it. I hear you. But let me give you a different spin on why you should settle. The definition of settle is simply this. It just simply simply means resolve or reach an agreement about something. That's all it means. So basically, when you're settling, you're just reaching an agreement. And I'm going to go somewhere with that. I'm going to give you three reasons why I'm going to start with number three first and go down to number one. Number three is greed. I know it sounds strange, but let me explain. You're dating. I know when you're dating, you're dating multiple people. You got your stable. I get it. I understand. But you never really come to a place where you are willing to settle. Because a lot of times we get into relationships with people and we have we're dating these multiple people, but we don't trust our, ourselves enough to let everyone else go and stick with the one. So that's where the greed comes in, because a lot of times we're just dating and dating and dating and dating. But when you have enough confidence to trust yourself to say, I believe that this relationship is going to work between him and myself, I'm willing to let everyone else go. The problem comes when you realize that the person you chose, you found out that this person is human and they have faults and issues just like anyone else. And now you start to wonder, why did I let my whole stable go? Why did I let <clears throat> my whole team go? <laughs> you know, because you found out this person was human. Remember, we all have issues. No one is immune to it. OK, so to all my single people pick okay we all got stuff that we dealing with so regardless of the person that you chose and you realize that they have faults and stuff like that and you wondering what these other guys or other women are doing that they were potentials they have issues too it just depends on who you choose and who you're willing to rock with you have issues too number two you will get older i know a lot of times people think they're going to be 28 forever but you're not you know, sometimes we can get into relationships with people and we fumble a good man or a woman. I have talked to countless amount of people who fumbled a good man or a woman and time has gotten away from them. And they're thinking back like, oh, my God, like, I don't believe I let her go. or I don't believe I let him go because they felt like time was on their side. Youth was on their side and they were always going to have these options. But and I can tell you myself, time moves by. You get older. You won't be 28 forever. So if you're able to find a good man or a woman, you hold on to them because good people are hard to come by. So always remember, time will keep moving. Remember, the word settle simply means an agreement. It means that we're going to try to do this thing together. We're both on the same page. Uh, we're going to be in this relationship together. I want marriage. Uh, you know, I want marriage too. So now we are becoming together and we're making an agreement. One thing that I loved about my wife and I was when we dated, we both wanted to marry. Uh, you know, she wanted to marry. I wanted to remarry. So that was something that we agreed upon. So we was like, let's make this thing work. Let's see where we can take this thing. And, you know, here it is. We're coming up on six years of marriage. So you want to find someone that you can agree agree with. So there's nothing wrong with settling. That's all it means. The number one reason why you should settle is because people expect perfection out of others, but they're broken themselves, right? A lot of times we have this list of, of, of people, you know, what we want in the person and all the things that you want them to quote unquote bring to the table. And I know people don't like saying that, but I'm just using it as an example. But realize you are not perfect. Come off your high horse. Again, like I said in the third point, that we all have things that we're struggling with. Sometimes, you know, the things that we want in someone else, are we doing those very things? You know, you might want somebody that's nice fit and athletic and and you know eat healthy and all those other things but are you doing those things 
uh, you know, you get into a relationship with this person and you frying chicken, you you making all the unhealthy stuff and they looking at you like, I don't do that. I'm, I'm you know, so now that can cause problems in a relationship because now you mad because they don't eat the food that you cook because you make unhealthy food, but you wanted somebody who was fit and healthy. So now it's going to try to require a change from one of you, which can really cause a lot of tension in a relationship. People say they want a man or they want a woman of God. You know, I want somebody who's going to fear God. But do you fear God? Do you have a healthy relationship with God? Because, again, you get into that relationship and that's what you wanted. And then you realize like, oh, this person is too much. They too churchy. They 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 love God too much. You know, so (laughs) you have to be careful what you ask for at the end of the day. Just remember to become the best version of yourself so you can choose from a healthy place opposed from a place of bitterness or resentment. You want to become that best version because you can see things a lot clearer. And the people that we choose, we choose based on our confidence level. Hey, thanks again for watching another segment of A Scary to Remarry. I have so much more amazing content and some phenomenal guests as well. People who've been through a divorce, people who remarried, people who desire to marry. So much great content. So make sure that you hit one of these videos. It's somewhere around here, but anyway, go watch another video.